Okay, so we're back in Photoshop, and uh, now we're going to make some textures for the tendril to be kind of like flowing. Um, so I'm uh, just going to make new textures, so file, new, 512 is fine. Um, or you know what, let's make it a little longer. Let's do new, and we'll do height 256 by 512. There we go. And shift F5 to make it black and make a new layer. Now I like to use, a, uh, there's a program that I use um, to make my textures, um, make them a little different. You just use them as like a base. Uh, it's called Filter Forge. So I'm giving a, I'm going to be using that in this tutorial. Uh, it has a three, free 30 day trial. Um, and I, you can really make some really cool textures with it. Like this is one I made. Um, and there's a few other ones I've made. I've made this, uh, this little ball uh, you can also take what other people have made and you can modify them. Like, for example, I, I have, uh, let's see, I have uh, this beam array that somebody made. Um, and uh, how this is how these are made is you go up to the filter editor and uh, it's, it's all done using, it's all a node-based system. So, so uh, I I found a filter online that somebody had made, and I went ahead and uh, made it to what I needed it for, which is I need alpha, so so I could use it in my effects. So as you can see here, is that it, uh, I set the alpha, and now now I have an alpha channel to it. So uh, let's see now. So for now, I'm going to use this one. So also, what you can do is you can also tile it that way and get a nice steady stream. So we're gonna see. I'll probably keep the color the same because our effect, our effect is blue. Um, he, uh, the original author of this, um, also went in and made it so you could gl glow, and you've got position, uh, where it is in the the texture itself. Uh, you got roughness, make it really smooth or really busy, and uh, there's also the stretch as well. So. It's a fun tool. Um, I I I actually bought that. It's 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 always on sale, or they they have a discount for it. And I highly recommend it if you want to do um, anything like special effects related. Um, generally, like I said, I use it for as like a starting layer, and then I start building upon it. So for now, let's grab this one. So we'll do that, and then uh, let's see, and then let's uh, get another one. to uh, this one. Actually, we'll do it separate. Do it, do it a different texture. Okay, so what you can also do, so uh, since this is going to be additive, we don't really need an alpha channel. We can just use, um, we could have an alpha channel, but probably say because it's additive and most effects are additive we should probably not so we're gonna st I'm gonna leave this as it is so we're just gonna go to file save as and we'll call this as a TGA so we'll call it uh, tendril Oops. Uh, beam 01 and 24 bit and hit OK now alright so now let's go back to Unreal, and then I can show you what, what's happened, and you can see the process. Um, and then we'll I'll be jumping backwards and forwards between Photoshop, Max, and Unreal. So uh, let's go back to Unreal. Okay, we're back in Unreal, and uh, we're going to be importing what we just made. So go up to right here to the Content Browser, and uh, now uh, for this tutorial, I have saved everything in the the map file. Um, generally, I would. It's for this tutorial. I wanted to get it all in the same spot, but generally, I would suggest you do not. I said uh, for, for, so. I'm going to be making a new package with which have all our materials and textures in it. That way, if the map crashes or anything happens to it, we won't don't lose all our stuff. So I'm going to go to import, and I made a shortcut, so we get straight there. And I'm going to do Skyrim tendril. And so for now, let's uh, give it a new name. So let's call it um, uh, let's call it uh, Skyrim 
or uh, um, tutorial one. And I like to put them in groups, so I'm going to put this in meshes since this is the mesh. And import the gradient. And I'm going to put that in the textures, a texture subfolder called textures. And I import again, and I'm going to do the beam. I'm also going to put that in textures. Okay, and then always make sure when you have a little star by the name, you need to right click and hit save. And you need to save it to the to to somewhere inside of the content folder. So I'm going to save it into Skyrim Aura folder. Okay. So now let's make some materials for our t our mesh. So we're going to right click and go to create new material. And then I make grouping. I call this materials. And I'm going to simplify that. So let's do a uh, tendril 01 material. Okay. Now I'm moving this around using control and the left mouse button. If you use if you use the right mouse button, you can move it around uh, as well as the left one with nothing pressed. If you hit control and the right mouse button, let's see where's oh yeah. So you push both buttons, you can zoom in and out. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that texture and I'm gonna go find the other texture, which is here in gradient, and I'm gonna drop this over here. Okay, and I'm going to use a multiply, which is you can hit M on the keyboard, or you can go up to here and type multiply, and then drag it over. You do either or. So I'm going to put that into A. I'll put that into B. And put that into emissive because it is going to be a uh, emissive texture. So it won't be cut, uh, and so they won't need any lighting. And then for emissive textures, you want to put this to additive, and it's going to be unlit. And also check, I'll check the two-sided as well. Okay, now we want to make it scroll. So make it scroll. You go to panner, plug the panner into the back of the UVs right there and so that'll be on the Y I think no B on X there we go okay so there's our texture moving now we're gonna put it into onto the mesh so there's our mesh that we made max the materials, you're going to drop it down to where it says LOD info, elements, material, select that. And there is it moving through the texture. And you see, let me uh, see it has the fall off, see? So it's not, it doesn't look like it. Now, right now it's going to be. It's spreading the whole texture all the way throughout the the model. See as it's like stretching. So to fix that problem, we're going to go to the material editor. And in the back of here, we're going to type in text coordinate. And look for a texture coordinate right there. Plug that into the coordinate slot. And in here, this controls the tiling. So on the U, which is the direction we're going, we're going to put that at 3. And click OK. Close it down. And then now you'll see it's a lot more slower. Now you're still seeing some residue of the poly, see like right there the corner um, so we could just smooth it out some more to give it some, some more so we go back to max and uh, we could smooth it out some more if we wanted to export yes back to 
to that and then you don't have to import it again you can actually right click and do re-import texture and see if that fixed it yeah now it's getting a smoother look to it and probably want to make it go just a little faster so I'm going to go to materials and we're just going to increase the panning speed let's try one go back to our meshes check it again that looks better okay so with the meshes done just remember to remember you got a star you got to right click and hit save okay now let's test it in our scene see how it looks so just uh, drop it in now it's going to be tiny I think isn't it let's see oh yes it is tiny okay that's because I didn't uh, export the scale when I imported it in Max. Uh, so we can either go back to Max and mess with the scale, or you can just do it here. You can do draw distance, so I'll just do five, and you can scale it up like that. Probably got to go to wireframe to see what's going on. Let's see. There it is. And And I'm just kind of moving it around, just getting flowing inwards like that. So that's the start of it. So see, so we've got this nice. Let me turn on the little arrow. There we go. So there's the beginning of it. So it's got a nice fall off to it. It's coming in. It's fading in. It's coming in and going in. So now let's add a little more detail to it. Let's give it some. Some it's doing like it's got other things inside of it, other um, entities and stuff like that. Um, how I got to this view with the with the top down and the perspective is I went to view, uh, viewport configuration and horizontal split. That's how I went there. That's how I can see that. You can also change it to do top view. We could do side view as well and perspective. Um, so and then you could change the different view view uh, shadedness shades of it so okay so now let's go ahead and go back to Photoshop and make a another texture we can put in there so back to Photoshop we go